Alright, so in this problem, I have 7 to the power of x is equal to 7. So to solve this, I'm going to first start by dividing both sides by 7. So then 70 divided by 7 is 10. So I have 7 to the power of x over 7 is equal to 10. Now if I have something in the form a to the power of m over a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m minus n. So 7 to the power of x over 7. 7 is the same thing as 7 to the power of 1. So I have 7 to the power of x over 7 to the power of 1. And that's going to equal 7 to the power of x minus 7 to the power of 1. Or sorry, 7 to the power of x minus 1, which is equal to 10. Now, I'm going to take the log on both sides, so I get log of 7 to the power of x minus 1 is equal to log of 10. And if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can move this x1 and b to the front, so it's going to equal b times log a. So in this case, I have log 7 to the power of x minus 1, and I can move x minus 1 to the front. So now I have x minus 1 times log 7 is equal to log 10. Now we want to isolate x, so I'm going to divide both sides by log 7. So when these two cancel out. And I get x minus 1 is equal to log 10 over log 7. Now log 10, that's the same thing as 1. So I have x minus 1 is equal to 1 over log 7. And now I can add 1 on both sides. So I get x is equal to 1 over log 7 plus 1. Now, log 7, that's equal to 0 0.845. So now I have 1 divided by log 7. And that's going to equal... 1.183. So I have 1.183 plus 1, which is equal to 2.183. All right, so in this problem, I have x to the power of 8 minus 121 is equal to 0. So to solve this, I'm going to first start by rewriting x to the power of 8 as x to the power of 4 times 2. Now I have this minus 121, which is the same thing as 11 squared. Now if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So x to the power of 4 times 2, that's going to equal x to the power of 4 to the power of 2. Now I have this minus 11 squared is equal to 0. Now if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So in this case, this is going to equal x to the power of 4 plus 11 times x to the power of 4 minus 11 is equal to 0. Now this is going to equal x to the power of 4 plus 11 equals 0, and x to the power of 4 minus 11 equals 0. So for x to the power of 4 plus 11 equals 0, I subtract 11 on both sides, and I get x to the power of 4 is equal to negative 11. And for x to the power of 4 minus 11 equals 0, and add 11 on both sides. I get x to the power of 4 is equal to 11. Now, to solve this, This is the same thing as x squared 
to the power of 2 is equal to negative square root of 11 squared. And now this means that x squared to the power of 2, sorry, this is this actually has no solution because I have a number to the power to the power of a positive x or sorry to the power of an even number x when equaling a negative number. So this is wrong. X to the power of four is equal to eleven. For this, I can rewrite this as x squared to the power of two is equal to the square root of eleven squared. And now I'm going to subtract the square root of eleven squared on both sides. And now I get x squared to the power of 2 minus square root of 11 squared is equal to 0. And this means that x squared plus the square root of 11 times x squared minus the square root of 11 is equal to 0, meaning I have x squared is equal to square root of 11, and x squared is equal to negative square root of 11. For x squared equals square root of 11, x is equal to the fourth root of 11 and this has no solution so this is my only solution to this problem all right so in this problem I have 2 to the power of x minus 1 plus 2 to the power of x minus 2 plus 2 to the power of x minus 3 is equal to 448 so now if I have a to the power of m plus n this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n so in this case, I have m here, this is equal to x, and n is equal to negative 1 for 2 to the power of x minus 1. So that's going to turn into 2 to the power of x times 2 to the power of negative 1. Now I have this plus 2 to the power of x minus 2, that's going to equal 2 to the power of x times 2 to the power of negative 2. And 2 to the power of x minus 3, that's going to equal 2 to the power of x times 2 to the power of negative 3. Now I have this is equal to 448. Now 2 to the power of negative 1, that's the same thing as 1 over 2, which is, now if I multiply that by 2 to the power of x, I get 2 to the power of x over 2. Now I have this plus 2 to the power of x over 2 squared, plus 2 to the power of x over 2 to the power of 3, and this is equal to 448. Now if I factor out 2 to the power of x, I get 2 to the power of x times 1 over 2 plus 1 over 2 squared plus 1 over 2 to the power of 3. This is equal to 448. Now this is equal to 1 half plus 1 over 4 plus 1 over 8. This is equal to 448. Now, 1 half plus 1 fourths, that's going to be 6 over 8, which is equal to 3 over 4. And 3 over 4 plus 1 eighths, that's going to be 7 over 8. So now I have 7 over 8 times 2 to the power of x is equal to 448. Now we want to isolate 2 to the power of x, so I'm going to divide both sides by 7 over 8. So then these two cancel out, and I get 2 to the power of x is equal to 448 times 8 over 7. Now, 448 times 8, that's equal to 3,584. Now I have this over 7, which is equal to 512. So I have 2 to the power of x equals 512, meaning x is equal to 9. 